Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos, and welcome back to another episode of Sim Airport. We are expanding our Concourse B over here so that we can start getting some bigger, better flights in and the likes. It's in the middle of the night, so nothing coming in at the moment. Um, someone gave me a tip in uh, the comments saying that if I press the Z key, it takes off there. Ah, actually, and now you can actually see how it looks because we had a little bit of funniness happening over here. So I'll just switch that off and see how that goes. Excellent. So the zones you no longer see and it just looks like an airport. Okay, excellent. Again, as we go, I think this area over here is well defined and works quite well with the smaller planes. Good enough security, the check-in area over here and the likes. What <clears throat> we probably need to get going on. Oh, I've got a. I'm in a position where I can actually now um, add an extra gate. Though I don't necessarily think all of this will hold. What I am quite keen on potentially doing is giving a bit of a first class lounge over here. Uh, whether we really truly need that is maybe not a big thing. What we do however need, I think this whole thing has already been built. So what I'll do is let me get to the the planning and let's start and clear our planning over there. So there we go. So that section is done. What I can do, I can start removing this. So clear, dismantles objects, removes walls and leaves indoor flooring. So what I can do is I can do that actually cancel that what I'm the problem with what I'm seeing over here is I'm gonna have an issue with um, I'm gonna have an issue with getting people through here it's it'll probably work it just won't feel just won't feel right though okay so what can but I do need to start looking at getting more planes in here Okay, all of that's done. Let's have a quick look at our scheduling. Yeah, we <laughs> I think we've got that one pretty pretty well scheduled. 180 max. Is there anything else that that we can get in there that's, that requires 707, 737? That's a small gate. That's a large gate. So we could potentially squeeze in one more of these. We could potentially squeeze in. Okay, is there anything else? Anything else? What is this? Uh, 707. Ah. Oh. Yeah, 180 max 707 in the afternoon. Uh, let me... Let me grab this one. Let me grab that one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Squeeze these out a little bit something like that actually something like this and that's uh, so that gives us absolutely as much as we can accommodate let's squeeze that one up a little bit it is a pretty big one so let's bring it in a little bit so there's a little bit of a gap this one's much smaller so let's um, bring it a little bit closer to that so there's a little bit more time around going through there 180, 250, 180, 180, 250. Okay, so that's pretty good. So I think we're pretty well planned through here. Might be able to squeeze another flight into this one. Yeah, let's have a quick look. Can we? We should be able to squeeze one more. So let's pop in here. So I want an afternoon flight at a small gate. So that's like a 737. Yeah, let's accept one of those. And what we'll do is we'll uh, rack these up nice and tight and we'll squeeze in this one over there and that, <laughs> that means those two gates are pretty much sorted uh, we can squeeze in another small one in the evening a nighttime small one yeah that's the one let's accept over there uh, let's move this up and let's move that up so yeah probably we're gonna start seeing a little bit more problems over here so what I'll do is I'll just offset that just a tad just so that our big flights is offset a little bit yeah that's perfect so now because those are gonna because they're squeezed in so tightly those two gates really are filled up uh, 
yes excellent so let's see how that goes um, yeah so let's speed things up over here so we can see some stuff coming in airline interest is going up we've got quite a high passenger satisfaction excellent that's pretty good we still have the uh, we still have the Christmas is long gone but we still have these guys doing their thing I'm loving how well these things work at the moment our check-in is really working well excellent our security queues are doing their thing no problems over here nice nice so the only thing that I'm ooh, that's a bit of a queue but we've got everybody working so we'll get through that pretty quickly I'm not too worried that that'll take any time at all our first flight is coming in excellent flight crew boarding oh, is, this, is there a little bit different stuff going on no baggage unloaded people are starting to to check in it's a little bit tight over there I must say uh, ooh, I want to sort this out a little bit yeah oh what I wanted to do is actually build another one so if I have a quick look at my zones uh, yeah what I can do is I can uh, build another road in here where people can be picked up and I think that's kind of the, the, the plan for the operation oh we've got planes that's went out 100% eh? boarded 100% boarded this is tiny I need to get rid of that one a beach craft crazy making tons of cash I really need to get rid of a beach a beach craft is such a useless piece of plane that we get here okay let's get rid of the beach craft which one is this uh, I need to get rid of that um, Union Air 4145 Union Air 4145 is it afternoon no it's still in the morning that one okay Remove daily flight service. Are you sure you want to cancel Union Air 415 termination fee? Yes, please remove that for me. And then let's get in here. Let's get something a little bit more substantial into the morning. Uh, Union Air uh, A320. What is the A3150? That's pretty substantial if we have these in there together well let's accept that one I'll grab another one from Union Air and we'll squeeze it in there okay so what is this flight that's a 737 that's pretty small that's tiny yeah I need to get rid of some of these flights Juno connect anyway let's just do it step by step because I am worried that this area might not be as w uh, as well May, may not quite do as well as we think uh, okay so let's start I want to start building a road so let's um, let's get to the road section over here and what I'm gonna keen on doing is I'm gonna leave that in there for now um, can I rotate that so let's do one like that and then like excellent so get started on building this bad boy over here and we will yeah let's do as much as we can let's do that Ooh, and that okay so there we go there we go they can start building this straight away oh let's have a quick look what are we doing on the research are we still researching things construction requires researching construction allows hiring construction foreman okay that's potentially something land expansion not quite yet not quite yet bank loans number three that is pretty good Oh, low interest rates Ah, here I see we have some stuff that is being researched so let's uh, let's keep that going as long as we have things being researched that should be fine I'm gonna need this area to expand a little bit more if we're gonna if we're gonna do this and I'm kind of thinking what I need to do is actually expand it for me from that line out this way and like so a nice big chunk over here might be a good move for us we're gonna need tons of space yeah I need these small ones to I need to get rid of these small ones oh that's been built okay fine 
Now, what I'm going to do is go to the zones, my pickup, I can only do the one. Pickup's only one. Uh, actually, so what I'm going to do is just get a little of pickup over here and give me pickup and pickup will be the entire stretch up here is going to be pickup and what we'll do is we'll go into construction and we'll get some external whatever we did over here concrete or something stone not sure what we did in the end over there is that like a trying to replicate what we've done on that side oh sidewalk that's what that would be that would be sidewalk so we're gonna pop that in like so and what we'll also do is I'm going to go ahead and connect these two from the one side to the other side so let's get started on building this nice get all of that in money is rolling in this area is working well what are we big plane coming in over here 707 they're all squeezing out on this side so our arrangement here certainly is not the best I need to have a better better allocation so I'm gonna need a ton of cash to just get that one sorted I like the the way this is now working it's much better picking up people and and I want to do the same thing for this too but I'm going to try and move that a little bit before this way. Yeah, I can actually do something like that. Uh, when we get to the night time again, we can probably do something like that. What I'm keen on is maybe... Yeah, don't don't go too quickly on these. Let's just have a quick look. This one is 100% boarded. I think... Uh, can we have a look at the flights that's gone out? How are they... Do we have some flight statistics that we can... Ah, flight status. So, what was that? That was a late departure. Or is the, there still... So, what was the issue over here? I'm going to try and see if I can find out. So, arrival departure... Ah, oh, so this is a slightly late departure. Very slightly late. Which is something I need to keep an eye on if that starts happening. Over here, that's a very late uh, no it's a slightly late departure yet again but there's minor amounts of people in there so that's fine this one has got a slightly late departure over there as well this one is in place at the moment its departure is at 5 so it's doing its thing so I think our status is quite good I like having being able to have a look at the status anything else we can do Transport and deliveries, all of that still locked. Arrivals and departures on that air uh, fuel, we haven't got up to that. Maintenance times, transport capacity. What is this? Peak transit demand. Ah, so that's the arriving and departing. Demand de uh, estimated transit capacity. Ah, oh, that's quite interesting. This is uh, this is very very familiar to me. This is quite the kind of thing that we um, that I use to, that I do on a day to day basis. Work with graphs like this about demands and capacities. So demand arrivals only, peak transit demand and uh, demand departures only. So that's a little bit weird. Um, not quite sure what we're getting at over here but anyway we've got some fluctuations going on through the day as we've got the big planes coming in um, the transit capacity I believe refers to the uh, the monorail or the light rail or something that runs alongside here nothing much more than that this is just arrivals of vehicles and the likes anyway that's quite interesting weather forecasts no problems precipitation nothing okay anyway let's uh, keep going this is a 737 they're a good size for um, they're a good size for this uh, for this uh, this th these gates. Another it's a three twenty also a good size for these gates over here. I think things are working really well. We've got people able to pick up a lot of stuff. We're making tons of cash. Look at the money rolling in. The problem is if I want to do a big expansion section over here, which is my next big thing. Wow, look at this guy. 
So people streaming out, people being boarded, 88 only. So it's not a very heavily loaded plane. Okay, got like 45 minutes left. What? So it's fully boarded though. Interesting. Interesting. What we'll need to do is we'll need to run that one through there to get people back. Okay, so there we go. We made a ton of cash getting some more fees so how does this work what's our profits and losses look like today we have made a net profit of 170,000 okay what I want to do is I want to have a quick look oh it's still not done yet we're probably waiting for one big one more big boy to get in here yeah here it comes what is this WestJet 707 so it's a smaller it's the smaller of the two or the smaller of the kind that I'm accommodating at the moment. Tons of cash, people starting to line up to get on board. I think we're doing well. Uh, obviously our baggage collection area needs to be improved. So as I expand this area, I'll have to repurpose this area to work better. These are doing well. You're 100% boarded and on time? No, you're late. So we are not being, we're not perfect. We're definitely not perfect. You've got a midnight go going. Okay, you'll get there, no problems. Okay, so if we have a quick look at flight status. So did we have big problems? We boarded everybody, All right? Let's go through the day's flights. Yes, 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 no problems. A Beechcraft, can you believe it? No problems, no problems, no problems. Full flights, full flights. Well, they're not full. Um, but everybody bought it, okay? And then our, we've had a few times where we just didn't quite make the departure time. We were a few minutes out in terms of departure. Um, have another look at that. Let's see which gates are we talking about though. A, A, A1, A1 again, B1. Okay, so A1 has been our biggest problem in terms of getting people boarded and ready. Okay, so we need to keep an eye on that. B1 had the issue once, so I think we're pretty much on capacity over there. Now, the next big question is, can we... Okay, I want to move this. As soon as this is out, I want to move this out of the way. Okay, and... Oh, really? One more? Janet is hanging out over here. Okay, what I'm going to do is, can I move more than one garbage area? No, only the one over there. So, let's remove this garbage area right here. And what I'm going to do is, I am going to squeeze in another garbage area. Hang on, give me, give me some road construction. I am going to sort out our road construction over here. So, let me... Let me squeeze our road construction back in there and what I'll do is I'll do a very uh, basic little section over there. What we'll also do is we'll get some sidewalk. What is this ramps? What's it? Outdoor gates, hangers, more realistic look and feel. Um, outdoor. So what we'll do is I'll just kind of connect these up together and if I go over here we'll grab the garbage area garbage area and we will sort of get this entire section here to be garbage excellent so they'll move that piece over there nice the other things that we have working against us is deliveries which as it stands what I might do may do is I might move this in a little bit Okay, that's probably the next thing for us to sort out. Uh, garbage is sorted, and the other one I want to do is sort out the delivery. So let me let me uh, quickly have a look. So storage area. So storage. Uh, actually, let's just trim back on that over there. So we'll try and see about moving those in. Uh, and we'll remove that one over there nice so what I'm gonna do now is give me construction give me my roads 
Okay, and let's let's give it a, a bit of a area over here. Okay, and is that that? Let's. Uh, ooh, no, that's not what I want. Can I cancel that, please? Cancel this project. Thank you. Get back to roads. And there we go. So if we do that, then the next thing I want to do is if I go zone deliveries or drop offs deliveries, let's do let's do deliveries over here. Actually, let's uh, do deliveries a little bit bigger. And then we'll go to storage, and we will extend storage all the way to the end over there. So we've got deliveries and storage. Uh, go to construction. I want to go for sidewalk uh, again. And I want to just extend that entire section like so. Excellent. So get stuff built. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So why is this uh, failed a minimum size? Oh my god. Failed minimum size requirement. That is not good. That is not good. Five by five, and what am I giving them? I'm giving them four. Four. That is not good. Not good whatsoever. Well, so what I could do is if I do one, two, three, I'm going to go by three here. So if I just bring out this one a little bit earlier, that's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. Grab my road over there, pop that in there, and then let's demolish. Uh, let's clear uh, or let's just demolish uh, this section right over there. So please uh, sort that out. And then from a storage perspective, I'm going to extend storage in there. And that should be sufficient for us. Nice. Nice. So this will work for us. Oh, it's still not failing it? What is this? So what's the size that I'm giving it over here? What? One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'll need to trim it back one more. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, give me my, my roads. Come on, the roads. Pop one in there. And then we'll have to demolish this one again. So it is getting a little bit tiny, but we'll get the storage in there. No problems. Stuck. No worries. You sort it out and do that perfect now the storage area is nice and sizable okay what's going on over here are we getting tons of people in here so uh, what we're jeez look at that need lots of buses to come and load the people what's going on with our status so these early flights have been working quite well we've got the big boy over there needing to leave to be honest late 99% so someone missed the flight it's not what I'm after our queues work I think I think this airport terminal is about at the capacity that it can possibly accommodate why are those people stuck feels like we have a lot of stuck people hanging around over here and I'm a little bit worried about that because you should be loading yeah everybody's queuing up getting in there getting in there getting in there 20 minutes come on get everybody in 100% boarded get out of the way perfect that has worked quite well for us Okay, how's this going? Ooh, a one, one hour late. That is by no means, this one has been cancelled. I don't know what's going on over there. Oh, it arrived late. Okay, well, there's not much we can do about that. Maybe since I moved things around, things are struggling a little bit. It's looking good, 500k as it stands. Let's have a look and see what's going on with our research. Is anything else being researched at the moment? Operations 2, so excellent. We get no notifications when this kind of thing happens, so 
Uh, so we'll need to try and sort that out a little bit. Well, we need to keep keep coming back and checking what's going on. What I'm keen on is if I go to construction and we say foundation. So what I want to do is I want to do that to be able to really sort this out. Shall I do it? Let's do it. Let us do it. Come and start the build over here, guys. Excellent. I love the fact that we're really expanding that now. Because we're going to really need some more room over here to get all of that in there. the moment I'm not sure it seems like we're having any problems with anything yet oh let me switch this off a little bit and see what's going on can probably you know what I can do uh, don't worry about it right now everything else is actually operating sufficiently uh, it's a lot of dirt hanging around over here so I probably need need a few more um, what do they call it janitors I only have two two let's hire two more people coming out over there coming to pick up their bags with their bags and the likes so moving in there getting their tickets done excellent yeah we we're we're, got, we're at the at a point where we're making enough money so that we can constantly be constructing improvements to the airport but yeah, I'm very keen on getting my next gate in here, but we'll have to open up all of this and redo our queuing. Um, that's really the intention over here. And then we'll start doing seating areas. Then these seating areas is okay. We can do a big, bit more bigger seating area over here. That's a big plane, 767. Lots of people coming out of that one. And 100% boarded, and are you... Ooh, you're an hour late. I'm again wondering whether that's got to do with the fact that we've moved things around. Are you almost done? You haven't started boarding yet. Now you're starting boarding, so you're going to be an hour late too. Stuff's, uh, stuff's not quite happening as the way I would like it over here. I'm not going to be worried about today's stuff, so let's keep, keep all of this going, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Excellent. So that section has now been built. Okay, so go to construction. Yeah, we're already getting our stuff back again. So go to sidewalks. Sidewalk. Grab me the sidewalk over here. And what I want to do is I want to just squeeze that in there. And I'll run the sidewalk through here. Under objects, do we have like trees and stuff? Decorative palm tree. A very classy decoration that will definitely give your airport um, that appreciate the eco-friendly outdoors. Okay, so let's do let's do a few of them. Nice, I like it. Okay, that's about it over there, and let's do a similar thing over here. We'll uh, pop one on this side and we'll pop uh, pop one on that side. Yep. So get those things in there. Uh, what I can also do is go to the planning and get rid of this planning that we've popped in here. Kind of have an idea that this is all part of it. Once the guys sort their stuff out over there. Nice. The airport is looking good. Okay, now I need to start removing this, so go to construction, let's uh, clear stuff, let's clear that, and let's clear that. Nice, so this is a secure area. Okay, is that the end of the day, or are we waiting for one more flight? I think that's it for our scheduled flights on um, B1, right? 
B1 is clear. Okay, so B1 is clear. So what I can do is I can I can uh, just make it a slow speed and what we can do is I can have a look at the queue system. Uh, so let's shrink the queue. Excellent. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get ooh, get rid of that. Okay, there we go. So that's in there. Uh, what I'll do is grab me my construction materials and let's get this floor sorted out again. I wish I knew which is the floor that we're we're working on over here. Stone. It's probably something like this, right? Okay. So let's see if I do. Wow, it's expensive. To stone it up. Okay. Let's dismantle these two over there. Good idea. Get rid of them. And then what we'll do is we'll start doing the queue over here. So, we will have... And then just one straight queue for the... Excellent things is being what is going on over here guys what are you doing We'll have to see what's going on over there whether that can work or not Is that another beach craft or something coming in a Ford air yeah a Ford a Ford Okay give me my um my cues so things looks like they're running quite late at the moment as it stands so let's see if I do ooh and guys you know what I'll continue this in the next episode for now this is going to be the end of it please give me a thumbs up if you've liked it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already thank you bye bye